Hi, my name is Sheree Bergeron and today we're going to be talking about financial statements. This is how accountants communicate. So every profession communicates and each use different tools. An engineer may assess a bridge and decide about the structure of the bridge and they're going to report their findings in an engineer report. Accountants use financial statements. So we have users of the financial statements. That means the people who read our financial statements and use them to make decisions. We break our users down into two types, internal users, and we call them internal because they work inside the company, like managers and employees, and external users, and those work outside the company, like investors, banks, and government. So we have two types of users, internal and external, and they're gonna be who we report to and we report using our financial statements. All right, so the first one that we wanna talk about is the income statement. Our user would read this statement to find out if we're profitable. This example is of a piano tuner. So they generate revenue by tuning pianos, and then they have expenses related to those, such as paying the people that tune the pianos, the gasoline to get to the pianos, and then um, depreciation on their tuning equipment. So if they look at all of their revenues, and subtract out all those expenses that they needed to pay out in order to make the revenue, they're left with net income. If, for example, they had spent more than what they brought in, they would have a net loss. So this statement tells the users a lot of information about the profitability of the business. Let's look at the next statement. It's the statements of owner's equity. Equity. This term, which is found right here, statement of owner's equity, what does it mean? So if you think about a house, it's easier to see. If you buy a home for $200,000 and you have a mortgage, that means that you owe $150,000, we would say that the equity in your home is $50,000. And that's exactly what we mean by equity. So for a business, we're going to look at all of the business assets minus all of the liabilities, and that's left with your equity and that's your owner's equity. Now it's called owner's equity or capital. Both of those words mean the same thing. So what this statement does is summarizes the changes in equity. So what helps equity to change? Well, if the owner puts a personal investment into the business, it makes owner's equity go up. If the business is profitable, it has net income, it makes it go up. If the owner withdrew personal money, or money out of the business for personal uses, then it makes it go down. So the net of all of these change your owner's equity. So we start with the beginning owner's equity, also called capital. We look at all these changes and we come down to the ending owner's equity. So that's what the statement of owner's equity does. It tells about the worth of the business. All right, next we're gonna talk about the balance sheet. So I want you to think about what the word balance actually means. So to be in balance, this side equals this side. They're in balance. So in accounting, we stay in balance by using the accounting equation. The accounting equation is assets equals liabilities plus owner's equity. So the balance sheet shows that we're in balance. Here's our total assets. Here's our total liabilities plus our owner's equity, also called capital. So the balance sheet is just a formal presentation of our accounting equation. So these are the three primary financial statements that we're gonna talk about. So now I wanna talk about the order in which we prepare the financial statements. So it's important that you know the order, and the order is written here, and you can also remember it like this. I eat bread. So I stands for income statement, EAT stands for equity, and BREAD stands for balance sheet. So if you can remember I eat bread, then you'll remember the order of the financial statements. Now why do we care about the order? So the reason that we care about the order is because we have to first calculate net income because it flows to the statement of owner's equity. Then we have to calculate ending owner's equity or ending capital because it flows to the balance sheet. So that's why the order is so important. I eat bread. So let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.